No way. No way we just did that. I cannot believe we went that entire way without a snorkel and with this little tiny baby car. Sorry, Donald. Sorry. The view? Oh my goodness, look at this. It's magical. Hello everybody and welcome back to Expeditions. Today we begin on the Carpathians map. We finished up Little Colorado and I decided for a change of scenery instead of the desert, we're going with a lovely luscious woodland. And we've got our Don 71 freshly souped up. We got the roll cage, we got a lift kit on her and we are ready to embark on an adventure. This is actually not even an expedition. It's the beginning prologue. So we're just going to explore the area today with some relaxing expeditions gameplay. So let's get started. It is really pretty. Let's see if we can make it through here without... Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> I did upgrade the tires on this too. All right, we got our first point here, stage completed. Let's see where we have to go. Let's check out our map here. We need to go all the way down there by the river. So probably down that way, I'm guessing. And let me just remind myself, I do not, I didn't get a snorkel. <laughs> this is what happens when you play multiple different save files. <laughs> I forget on which game I upgraded which vehicle. So we do not have a snorkel, so I need to be a little bit more cautious when I am fording the river. Got some wooded area up here. Can we make it through here? I should probably get my drone out and find the best route, but I'm just being lazy right now. We're gonna crawl some rocks here, see how she goes. Also over the weekend, I was playing some expeditions here. Shocker, oh gosh. And I played my first modded map. I never got into mods in SnowRunner, but the lovely modder named Remo, also on YouTube, you can check him out, created a map for expeditions called The Islands. It is really pretty. So if you get bored exploring these areas, there are mods, they're built right into the game. I was a little bit nervous at first downloading a mod, but they're built right into the game and it was so much fun to explore. I will definitely be making a video on that. Okay, Looks like we need to head there, but we need to verify the heading first. Use your binoculars to look around. Oh, right. That is not my binoculars. These are my binoculars. Ooh, what do we have here? Let's check it out. No. There's something we're supposed to find. Nothing. Wait a minute. Ah, a new climb way over there. Is that where we're going? I don't know. There's something over there too. Another climb. How big is this map? So anyhow, those of you worrying about the maps feeling smaller here, there are mods coming to the destination with our little Don 71 here. This car is just so stinking cute. I love it. Stage complete. Do I have to go through the water? Driving up a mountain always has a high risk of overturning the car. Lower the tire pressure for a better grip. I do like how it, it it's called scaffolding in the education field. I used to be a teacher, but it's holding your hand. The game is holding your hand for novice players. It's great and it progressively is getting more difficult. So I like how we start this map and they're kind of helping us out a bit. 
Oh, I did not lower my tire pressure because I'm talking too much. Okay, there we go. Confirmed. Should we go through the water? Oh, yeah. Although I don't have a snorkel, I do have to remember that. Let's check it out. All right. You know what? We're going to play it safe. We've got our lowered tire pressure. We're just going to go rock climbing here. That is a steep climb. I hope this little light car can take it. Should we plan our route? I think probably going straight up on the right side here. Now I do have anchors with me. If needed, I do have a jack screw as well. Let's put in our four wheel drive. I think that would be helpful. Stage completed. This is a hard climb. You should use the tire inflation system and a winch. Do you think we're gonna need the winch? Four wheel high would be helpful. Come on, you got it done. But we're just gonna use the winch. Definitely was helpful. Oh, look at the pretty flowers. This is a really picturesque landscape. You know what? This will be a great photo op. Let's go on up here a little bit more. And then we're going to try out the new photo mode again. Let's see what we get. Now here's the problem. I do not have enough storage on this vehicle. I can take our supplies that we need for the mission, but if I want the rest, which I do, I'm going to have to come back, and I don't know if I want to fuss with that. Now, we need to explore the area. We're at 89%, but I am kind of interested in climbing up this rock if we can. Oh yeah, we can do some damage on our car. <laughs> I don't know if we can make it up there. Come on, girl. Come on. Actually, it's a boy. It's Don. Come on, Donald. You got this, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Parking brake on. Look at this view. Look at this view. Better yet, let's turn off our engine, save some fuel, and let's pop out our drone Maybe we can finish exploring the area. Look at the lakes. Wow. Let's check our map. Oh, alrighty. We need to go and explore the area back towards camp. But before we do that, let's go into our photo mode again. There we go. We're going to play around with taking some pictures. I do like the fireflies. Hmm. Check out this photo. I love the lighting. The only thing I wish this photo mode had was just the option to hide everything, all the text on the screen. I just want to take my own screenshot and you can't as far as I know. It saves in your Steam screenshots file, wherever that is on your computer or console, I imagine. But hey, at least we got this. This is better than nothing, and I love it. The view, oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my goodness, this might even be a better picture. I'm such a dork. I'm done, back to the game. We are going to continue, turn our lights back on, and actually, let's go into the map. I want to see what this looks like during the day, so we're going to skip ahead a bit. Oh, wow, that is quite the difference. It is much prettier in the afternoon. Here we go. Can we back down and go down the climb? I don't know. This might be my preferred map over the desert areas the desert is interesting don't get me wrong but just having all of this foliage here it's eye candy you know what i mean 
That's one thing I love about expeditions compared to SnowRunner. Just everything about this, it's so relaxing. Short missions, you can just play for a half hour. And you can do that with SnowRunner too. I just, I don't know. For me, it's more relaxing and casual than SnowRunner. I like the planning of missions, off-roading, it's just you, nature, and Don 71. <laughs> okay, here we go, back down. I have to remember my tire pressure is still low. Don't flip it, easy does it. Brakes, a little bit of brakes. We got it. And then the music. I wish they would sell the soundtrack for this. I would totally buy it. It's so peaceful. Look at these flowers. Oh my goodness. Am I the only one who finds this a visual treat? Probably most of you guys don't even care. Am I right? You just want to drive cool trucks. Through the mud. We have to head back to our original area and finish exploring up ahead. And I think we're going to need to use our drone because that is quite a thick bush up ahead. Let's go down a little bit farther. And I love the crunching, oh, the crunching, not of my engine, but of the little saplings that I'm knocking down. You hear that? All right, let's, let's park it here. Let's get out our drone. We're at 89%. Can we get this to 100? You know what I should have done? I think if you take, is it the operator with you? I forget her name. But she makes it so your drone can go so much higher. See how I'm getting a bad signal already? I should have spent the money on her. We're at 97%. This is my favorite song. I want this song. Do, 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 do. We got it. I'm just enjoying the flying. Do, do, do. Deliver the cargo back to base. I don't want to stop flying. This is so pe- Look at that river over there. Do you see that? Way off yonder. East, southeast over there. Can I go higher? No, I can't. <laughs> so much to explore. Let's go back to our car. Let me just check out the map. Let's zoom out a bit. How big is this? How much farther does it go? Climbs. So much left to explore. So back to camp. Let's see what is going to be our best way to get out of here. Probably just going this way. Let's go around this way and take a look over at the water. <laughs> I like the Don 71, but it's still a little too squatty. It needs more ground clearance. But it just pops around the map like nothing. Look at this. This would be a fun place to go camping. This reminds me of, it looks like Canadian wilderness. Have you ever watched the TV show called Alone, where they drop like a dozen people in the Canadian 
wilderness and they have to do all their own filming and the last one left alive in the winter is the winner. That's what this reminds me of. I love that show. Back to camp. Back to life. Back to reality. Ooh, what is this little guy? Do you see that? It almost looks like a totem. He's got a hatchet and a bucket for a head. It's the little details like that. But we have to go over here. I'm just talking and enjoying the scenery. Deliver our supplies. Okay. Deliver. Mission completed. Prologue for Carpathians is finished. And we get 4,800 smackaroos and a high range gearbox upgrade. I thought we already had that, but maybe that's for specific vehicles. And it looks like we unlocked another hydrologist, Anwar Farsi. Now, I am not going to end it here. We are going to continue. I want to see if we can store the jack screw in the anchor somewhere because I don't want to lose 50% of what I paid. I'm still trying to learn the building module system here. So the current modules, it looks like we have a store and a base module. Oh, wait a minute. We can store it here, I think. Yes, we can. Okay, that is what I wanted. And if we buy essential storage, it allows us some fuel, spare parts, and wheels. Hmm. But we have those there. I don't think we're going to buy that right now. We're just going to wait until later. And is there anything left close by that we want to explore? Let's do a little bit more exploring. I want to go down to the water and see if we can ford the river down there. Is that a smart idea? without a snorkel? No, it's not. It's not a smart idea at all. But are we going to do it? Yes. Yes, we are. Worse comes to worse, we just recover back to base. We can do that for free once every expedition. So we're going to risk it for the biscuit. Taste the biscuit. I don't know. That looks pretty deep. Let's check it out. It's green. I need the hydrologist with me. Engine damage. Oh no, okay. <laughs> that might be a little too deep for Donald here. No, it's green. This is fine. Everything is fine. No, it's not fine. Okay. Back out, back out. This is clearly not the vehicle to take into this space. This is not looking good. Come on. Let's go, Donald. We need to bring a hydrologist with us and then we wouldn't take that engine damage. Hey, we made it. We're just gonna keep going. You know what? Okay, wait a minute. We're gonna repair our engine. <laughs> Is that 13%? Do I have enough parts? I think we do. Which way do we want to go? Hmm. I'm thinking let's keep going this way. Surely we can't cross it completely in this, can we? Water damages engine, I know. What do we have here? Deliver supplies? I don't, I don't have any. What is this here? Oh, that looks really deep, doesn't it? Oh, it does. But, curious. I am curious. Whoa, whoa. Oh, you know what? I got rid of my anchors. I was just thinking I could use an anchor. We're going to try it. 
No, we're not. Yes, we are. Is there... Oh, wait a minute. There was a winch point there? No way. No way we just did that. We have to... I'm guessing that's for some sort of expedition mission there. Not the one we're currently on. We did make it. I cannot believe we went that entire way without a snorkel and with this little tiny baby car. Sorry, Donald. Sorry, but you are. You're quite small. That's right, you make up for it with your maneuverability. Now, let's take a look at the map here. Better yet, let's see if we can explore the area by drone. Looks like we have another place we're going to have to deliver supplies. Oh wait, that's a vehicle upgrade. Can we do that? Let's get the binoculars out. Let me just do a little recon there. Upgrade location discovered. We're so close. We're going to get this. You never know what you're going to find if you just go out exploring. Specialized tire set, the ultimate weapon against the deepest of marshes, providing the best off-road performance at the cost of on rock traction. We found new tires? Okay. Show the trucks list. Yes. We can use them on the Don 71, the Costco, the little loaf car, and the regular Don 71. We have to go try these out. We're going to hit OK. And now we are going to return to headquarters and our mission $4,800 richer as well as a set of tires and a priceless experience to the headquarters. Let's go. We're going to equip our new high range gearbox, first of all. All right, installed. Now, if we go to tires, which one's these? Wait a minute. I had better tires on. I had the 33 inch TM2s which are good, good, and excellent. And the ones I unlocked, they're not even as good. Average, good, excellent. Why would I want these? These seem better. Good, good, excellent, average, good, excellent. I mean, the tread is more aggressive on these. I will give it that. And maybe we should try them. It looks like, I can't tell, do I have more clearance? No, I don't. Well, that's kind of disappointing. That kind of took the wind out of my sail, took the air out of my tires. Plus, you have to pay $9,000 for those. Um Yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to get those. <laughs> However, I do want to go in the truck store here. Speaking of mods, I was talking earlier about the mods. I also downloaded the FJ Bruiser and this version of it, vanilla-ish, but they're $105,000, $110,000. Eventually, I want to unlock those, but I don't want to spend my money on those just yet, but those things are absolute beasts. And then here's the FJ Builder and the vanilla-ish version of that. I was looking for the con. Where is it? Yeah, the con Marshall. Ah, we have to complete some more missions. I don't think we're going to buy anything. We're going to save our money and keep working on missions and unlock the things I really want to spend my money on. If you enjoy sim and survival games such as Expeditions, please consider subscribing. If you want to be extra nice, drop a like or a comment below, and I will see you next time.